Hey guys, been a long, long time since I've vlogged anything. I've actually been relatively unplugged from social media for, I don't know, past year. Last couple of months, I've been thinking that I want to get back into vlogging because I feel like I've been appreciating these life moments so much more that I want to start capturing them again, even if it doesn't monetize or make money, and to just look back on it and share them with you all. So you can't tell, but my room is currently a friggin' mess. I just got back from 10 days in Seattle with my family a couple days ago, and I'm about to leave for Phoenix. I'm gonna drive with my friend Nat. We're gonna go see our good friend Nessa graduate med school before she moves to Hawaii for her first residency. So yeah, I'm gonna finish packing and hit the road in the next 15 minutes. See you in Phoenix. The next morning, Nessa, Penny, Nat, and Allison left bright and early for an award ceremony. So, the rest of us had a few hours to surprise decorate the Airbnb for a little day party to celebrate. Pretty much all of us at one point were on this or that or that. Tito stepped on my head at one point. <laughs> Oh, and a few more friends joined us too. Please wait outside, we'll call your name when you're ready. <laughs> Did you hit that? Oh, oh, I got a little bit of a Cheeto dust on there. <laughs> <laughs> so you're re relatively healthy, but you have bad habits. Your career is or what was doing well, but I think later in life, mm -hmm. you may have instability. Okay. All right, right, no more bad news. That's, a, that's, that's, enough, that's enough of the bad news, bro. Five broken hearts. Dang, she calling you out. Hmm. Your love, your love wife. That night we got dinner at Rainforest Cafe because Nessa has this strange fascination with the place. I had never been before, but it's sort of like if Chuck E. Cheese had a cousin who grew up in a jungle and then opened a restaurant. And since it was our last night together, you know we had to hit the karaoke bar after. The kicker was that since the graduation ceremony the next morning overlapped with checkout, we had to clean the entire house that night before leaving at like 7 a.m. But teamwork makes the dream work, and yeah, we got it done pretty easy. Gotta love having Asian friends that pitch in to clean after a party. Nessa was passed out by the time we finished, so the rest of us ended the night in the hot tub. It was the perfect, relaxing way to wrap up. Now laugh at each other. Ha 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 ha! Don't make Nessie goodbye. Bye, Nessie. Sandra Hannah. Okay, Nessie's second comedy. Yay! 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 After years of supporting her through some of her most trying days and restless nights, we watched as our dear friend achieved this dream that seemed nearly impossible at times. I know a place where we can go and be But she did it anyway, and I gotta say, so it was amazing to see. With me, nobody has to know. Can you breathe? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> And just like that, Nessa and Kenny were off to their next adventure, her first residency, but not before one last shotgun for the road. Don't tell your friends, but let them know we're safe later on. Nessa, Kenny, there's so much to say to both of you, but I'll keep it short and sweet. I think I speak for all of us when I say, we love you, and we're so, so proud of you. See you soon. Call in to see if you're free to run away with.